before you decide to trade or invest by subscribing to any of our tools, system, methods, post or commentary, please read this disclaimer document carefully. Please go to our website visualdecisions.in and read the disclaimer and terms and condition documents available there at the bottom of all pages in footer. Now we come to the understand uh, come to understanding the basics of the geometric tool or the GMG tools, various terminologies that I have used and the underlying principles. In a GMG tool, if you find price to bar ratio, for example, this is one of these GMG tools. And if I click on this indicator setting button, the price to bar ratio is over here. Okay. If you any indicator, if you find price to bar ratio, you have to follow a particular sequence of operations before you change the stop or the script. I will show you how it is to be done. So every time when you change the stock security on that chart, you have to observe a particular process or a sequence. And please note that unless you do it this way, you may get some weird results on the chart. But don't worry, as soon as you do it the right way, everything is then corrected. So I will tell you the sequence first, what you should do. So suppose this is the nifty chart that I am having on, on my screen. Suppose uh, what we will do, we will change it to some low price stock. So let us change to ITC. So I click on ITC and this is the way I will, it will show on the screen. This is because the scaling issue. Now how to set up the scales. So before I will, what I will do, I will change it to nifty again. Okay. So if I am planning to change it to an ITC chart, what I should do? First, number one, you press the auto button, which is like at the bottom of the screen. Okay. I am pressing the auto button. Okay. Then I will press the ITC. Now I want the ITC stock to be on the screen. So I will click on ITC. Now you see everything is okay now. But the geometry is gone now. We will come to that later also. Now zoom in or zoom out this chart as per your liking. Suppose I am increasing the size or decreasing the size. Whatever you feel good or better, you adjust the chart according to your liking. Okay. Now suppose this is the one I want. What I will do, I will right click on the price scale here and you can see the lock price to bar ratio is not selected because you just press the auto button that is the reason why it is unselected now so lock price to bar ratio here is 0 0.788 so what i'll do 0 0.7883 so i'll lock this price to bar ratio and i'll just note down this or remember this price to bar ratio figure which is 0 0.7883 what i'll do i'll come to this indicator setting and put this price to bar ratio of 0 0.7883 and press ok so now the geometry is here okay i'll take this swing low over here everything is fine now so this is the sequence you should follow. First you press the auto button, you right click, you lock price to bar ratio, note down this value, price to bar ratio value or, and then you put this value in this area, this price to bar ratio in your settings, indicator settings. Area. Okay. There is one more, uh, one more way you can do it. This is the easier and the better way I, that I use, right click on the chart, go to settings and sometimes it happens that these numbers are not very really easy to remember. Okay. What I will do instead of 0 0.788, I will set this chart to 0 0.8, it will not make much difference and here it is selected price to bar and press OK. 
So you can uh, see that not much change has happened in the screen. So what you can do is you then come over to into the setting. 0 0.8 is much easy to remember now. You press OK. So everything is set now. So there are two ways of doing it. Either you can do through this right clicking on the chart and going to settings, scales and a round figure over here or you can click over here and lock price to bar ratio, note this figure and enter this figure in this indicator setting. Now second important thing about the GMG tool is the vertical anchor line. So you can see on this chart, there is this vertical anchor line which is a green line and this is another vertical anchor line which is like a red line. These are anchor lines. They play an important role in geometry. There are three, uh, three types of vertical lines in these tool sets. Some tools have just one line, some two and some three. So either you will find one anchor line, two anchor line or three anchor lines. When a tool is using one single anchor line, uh, by the way, these anchor lines are like timelines. Okay. So when a tool is using one anchor line, then calculations are based on a single bar. We use a solid orange color line as a standard for it. So what I have done is I have standardized colors also for this GMG tool sets so that across the tools we have around 24 tools so things should not be confusing for the users. So every uh, single line uh, is like a color coded line which we have maintained for the try to maintain for the entire 24 tools as far as possible we have tried to maintain that unless and until it is absolutely required to change that color. So when a tool is using one timeline then it is using that for a single bar calculation and we use solid orange color line for that. When a tool is using two timelines like this one is using then the calculations are based on a swing. So now what is a swing? A swing is a high to a low like I will show you through this arrow like this is a high and this is a low a significant high and a significant low this can also be swing this can also be a swing this can also be swing this can also be swing this can also be swing since this is a significant high and this is a significant low I have taken this as a swing so swing is a high to low value or a low to high value. So when you are using two timelines, it is basically for a swing. So what we do is the green line is for the swing high and the red vertical line is for the swing low. Please remember that you should use it that way only otherwise it will give you wrong calculations. If you use a swing low uh, line for a swing high and if you use a swing high line for a swing low then everything will be wrong. I will show you how. Suppose suppose I am using this low, this is a red line which is a low line. Okay. What I will do, I will use this green line for a low and this red line for a high. So you, so you see how things have changed and they are all in wrong directions. So please remember we use green line for a high and red line for a low. And another thing is that when a tool is using three lines, then the calculations are based on a swing that is a high or a low like this one. Uh, a green line for a high and a red line for a low. You take a swing, these are the two basic lines, then the third, third line which is like a dashed or a dotted line is a yellow line and this we use 
to make further calculations from a bar which is different than a swing high or a low. So when when we come to the tool, I'll show you how. So you right now you just remember there is either uh, the vertical bar, there is either one bar, two bar, or three bar. One bar is for a single price bar, two bar is for a swing, and three bar is for a swing and an offset. Just remember that. Sometimes it may happen that you don't see a vertical bar, especially in intraday charts. This is because it is hidden somewhere in the past time where you have you may have anchored it and you have forgotten it. There are two ways to get it: either zoom in or zoom out. Suppose. What, what will happen in the past? Your lines are over here. This line is here and this line is here. Now you are here. You, you do not see the lines. So either you zoom in or zoom out of the chart, bring, drag these lines over here to the present time. This is one way of doing it. Or another way of doing it is you can go to the indicator settings here. This is a vertical line A, which is a swing high, and there's a date over it. You change it to present date, and they'll automatically go to that date. These are the two ways you can bring those lines again into the front front line. How we come to the important terminologies that we use across the GMG tools. Uh, we'll start with a swing high and a swing low, as I told you. I'll just up one of these two. Okay. So this is a swing high. This is a swing low, as I already told you. Okay. So then this green dotted line, this one, this is a horizontal line coming from a swing high. This red horizontal dotted line is coming from the swing low. This is swing high, this is swing low, this is dotted line, horizontal line from swing low, this is dotted horizontal line, green line from swing high. This blue line is a swing, this is a swing. All the blue angles which are dotted or solid, they are like primary angles. All the gray angles they are like the supporting angles. We'll discuss things as and when we come to that specific tool. So like uh, the angles, the blue one are the important angles, the gray one are other significant angles. Okay. Now this, uh, all, in all our geometric tool, you'll see this all kind of all colors, in all colors, this vertical lines. We have tried to maintain it as gray lines, but sometimes you will see other color lines. So every vertical line from the end of a swing to the future date is like a timing line. This is like a timing line. Okay. So we have a swing. We have the angles, uh, gray colored angles, blue colored angles, yellow colored angles. And then we have vertical lines, which are like timing lines all the horizontal lines that will uh, that you will see are like the support and the resistance line all these angles may also produce support and resistance okay so last thing in the video that i would want you to know is time frames on which you can use these indicators gmg tools are mostly used on daily and higher time frames but some of them can be used on all time frames including the intraday time frames please download the time frame document from our website available under gallery page